Hello, and you're here back with some more Space Engineers. Now, you may be asking yourself, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, hold on, it's Friday slash Thursday, which is usually the second uh, video that I put out in a week, and it's Space Engineers. What's going on? Space Engineers is like Sunday slash Monday only, right? Well, yes, under normal circumstances, this is true. But I'm just going to say this uh, right off the bat before you guys get bored of me rambling. Um, but I've decided at least for about a week-ish, I'm going to take a, just a short hiatus off of YouTube. Noth nothing permanent. I just kind of want a little bit of a break over Christmas. Because i got to be honest with you. Assuming I don't forget and screw up with uh, my any kind of video re uh, releases and all of that, I don't stop. Not that I'm saying that it's, a, it, it's no burden, me making videos. I make videos because I like playing games, and it's no skin off my nose to just, you know, hit record and, you know, record whatever fucking thing that's on my mind right now. If it's Whether it's Space Engineers, whether it's, you know, a bit of Warframe, even some other games like Oxygen Not Included. Uh, for example, I've even done Just Cause 3 in the past, although that has been a very long time now. And uh, even some uh, No Man's Sky ship showcases. You know, I rotate between things, as you know. So, like I said, just as, also, that's all I really wanted to say in the uh, just before I get into this thing you're staring at. Um, but I'm just taking about a, about a week. I'm not going to pigeonhole myself into saying exactly a date uh, next week or so when I will be returning. Probably it will probably be about a week. Maybe it'll, I might return probably Sunday uh, next week. So I mean, t well, actually, what is that actually going to be? Nine days? What? Whatever. I'm just, I'm just going away. For a short period over Christmas, right? Just, I want to take a break. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't, like I said, I don't stop making videos ever, really. So, um, yeah, okay, with that out of the way, um, this thing you're staring at right now is, like I've said before in a previous video that I, re and someone actually did mention, I think, uh, in a comment, what about trying to make some kind of building? Maybe make some bases, you know? Like, I've made, like, my outpost, like, outpost theatre. Uh, for example, you know, why am I pointing towards the sky in my, my, my camera here? I, <laughs> the, the, the ceiling's up there, you know, I'm not, it's not like I've put Outpost Theatre in real life into space. I mean, that would be cool, um, but no, that's that's um, uh, that's a bad joke. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, bases are not something I do often, if ever, really, apart from the odd space station. Uh, and this particular base you're staring at actually has some relevance, not to this game specifically, but to Seven Days to Die, which you might have not heard of that game. Um, think of it as a, a zombie survival crafting building kind of game. Um, this base here, I'm just going to say, is it's not an exact replica, um, but it is a you know it's cl it's as close as I can in Space Engineers to essentially. Uh, to a copy of the base that I made in that game. I, this is like this was in later game when I had a lot of. Eventually, when I was able to mass manufacture um, concrete, essentially to essentially make a reinforced concrete fortress. This base that I will walk you around is very is a very close replica of that base from Seven Days to Die. So you know it, I can't make it exact because you know one of the biggest things between Space Engineers and Seven Days to Die. And let's just ignore the fact that one's a zombie survival game and one's a freaking space building game. You know, let's ignore that for a second. Because <laughs> that's the most glaringly obvious difference between the two games. Is, if I can get myself uh, zoomed in here, is the, uh, the block scale. Because the scale of blocks, as you can see, each, like, you know, your character can stand within a one block height. Like, that, that's just a thing that you can do in Engineers. Like, we know this, right? Well, okay. Um, but in Seven Days to Die, you need two blocks in height. So, everything... Like, literally, a block in this game is twice as big as a block in Seven Days to Die. So, that's really the biggest difference is scale. So, this this fortress actually looks a lot more imposing in, in, in Engineers than it actually does in Seven Days. So, you know, that's just the biggest difference. Um, also, you know, I have to sort of... Um, like, the actual items... Uh, within obviously the base here are adapted for engineers use which is fair enough the the corner turrets uh, yes we don't well there are actually turrets in seven days but they're not on the scale of the ones in engineers and you know they're, they're mainly here just because of well this is engineers um, but it, and actually this is actually a vanilla uh, fortress that I have made here 
I will attempt, I probably will get this on the workshop, I will try not to forget and get too drunk and forget to put this up on the workshop, but um, this will be on the workshop, so check in the description. If it's not there immediately in the description, then come back in a few hours, whenever I've got off my ass and got this thing on the workshop. Um, so there is um, that. So uh, apart from that, the actual structure of the rooms within this fortress are I pretty much identical. Um, to they're actually ident even what's inside the um, the actual corner buildings, um, they are actually in ex well as close as I can obviously um, to a, an, a copied version of of what was in the uh, the Seven Days version. Um, and no, I did not have rotating spotlights in the Seven Days version of this fort, but I had sort of fixed spotlights uh, in increments on the corners here. Not that you really want to use that much light because light attracts zombies in that game. So, you know, there we go with that. So anyway, let's um, let's walk on in. Which um, I didn't. We did not have such a huge door in Seven Days, but you know, whatever. But anyway, you're meant. This is meant so you have some vehicle access pretty much inside and the little garage which like I said uh, each corner building uh, the actual purpose of which is an exact copy in seven days I've pretty much managed to copy that and I had a garage in here for the mini bikes so you can just store them in there um, pretty much um, another thing I should have mentioned this space is designed for habitable but hostile planets um, so in other words there is no airlocks that's the biggest thing. So you're meant to use airlocks within this base. There, there are, there is actual pressurization uh, within the rooms. So you could have a system whereby you technically. I'm, I mean, then again, I don't know if this still works uh, in game anymore, but it used to. But if you had a planet with low oxygen, so not breathable but low oxygen, you could have a vent set to depressurize. Essentially suck in what little oxygen is in the atmosphere and then you could basically then repressurize a neighboring room with that air that you've just pulled out of the atmosphere. If that still works, then you could still use this this base for that. So what if the room depressurizes? Because it's not like you're wasting oxygen. It just goes back out into the air and you can just suck it back in again from that uh, uh, air vent. So anyway, yes, let's close this big door. Even though I did kind of realize this a little bit later, but um, <laughs> we have this door that's double uh, double height and all that. Um, but yet, uh, but yet we actually have only uh, a single height airlock door for the garage. So logic aside, <laughs> and I pr I'm pretty sure I made this out of heavy armored wall pieces. I believe is it heavy armor? I can't remember. But there's um, you know, this will also be a decent sort of. Uh, a decent place to fortify from ground attacks, but it is mainly meant for hostiles in, you know, hostile life forms and that kind of thing. So, um, pretty much, yeah, going from here, going the immediately to the left-hand side here, this through this left door, which they... have they... hang on a minute, have they increased the speed of this? Those doors open a lot faster than I remember, and um, the immediate room here in the Seven Days version of this fort, this was uh, it was originally the what I would call the work room. So for the most part, it had a lot of the manufacturing buildings, the crafting stations, some of the uh, a lot of the storage, and things like that. And in this, um, in the engineers version here. We have a fair bit of storage just bulked up in here. Wait, that's not storage. Storage is up there, sorry. Um, we have the assemblers here and a uh, blast furnace. There should be... No, I stand corrected. I thought there was a second blast furnace, but never mind. Um, so just a couple simple um, fabrication buildings in here. Nothing too crazy to uh, report. So if we moved uh, in circle here, are these catwalks? Um, they were in the Seven Days version, although they were made out of wood originally. Um, and of course, there weren't such things as gigantic pipes in Seven Days, but in Engineers, I kind of had to do that just to sort of get things to pipe around the base. Um, although I did have actual power cables uh, trailing the outside of the center tower, um, primarily going to lighting fixtures around the walls here. Um, the actual lights that you see here, very much, the cl they actually are the closest thing from the Seven Days version because the Seven Days version I used industrial corner lights, which pretty much shone at a 45 degree angle exactly the same as these ones do. So, you know, using what I can to replicate things here. Uh, and yes, in the Seven Days version, I did um, actually n no, I stand no, we did not have these ramps going up the side here um, because the the we had in the center here. Uh, we had a ladder going up to the to the upper point of the center tower, which then extended the catwalks to go all the way around. And actually, uh, in the Seven Days version, we had a catwalk going across the main door, because the main door, 
uh, in this game, you know, in that game wasn't as big as this one here. So you get my point here. So you could, you could definitely tell I have tried my best to replicate things here. Um, so yeah, the lighting fixtures externally speaking are compl uh, are actually exact replicas, at least as far as I can get it. Um, so in here, uh, in here, now this room in here from the Seven Days version of the fort uh, technically did not have a use. I did not know what to put in here, so it was empty at the time. In the Engineer's version, however, I have actually made it into a life support and medical room, which makes a bit more sense. Uh, medical being in the back here, O2, bit of storage. Oxygen generator on its side there, and uh, cryopods, all self-explanatory, um, so you get my point. Now, technically in the Seven Days version, the back wall here was, or at least the floor of the back wall, uh, was a farm. Uh, but we don't need, we don't have farming in here, so uh, let's ignore that. Um, so going to the opposite, opposite side to the garage over there. Uh, this is the power room, which was, an, is, like I said, exactly copying um, this room's purpose from Seven Days version. We had a bunch of, I had a bunch of, uh, literally, I had a bunch of generators, quite literally, sitting exactly where those reactors were. And the battery banks, uh, literally, <laughs> sitting exactly where those batteries are, right there. So, you know, through, for, you know, exact block for block copying placement, almost. Although we did not have this um, storage thing in the corner, because technically each corner block from the Seven Days Fort was a ladder going up to the top, um, so you can get access to the top catwalk, pretty much. Uh, and there was nothing in the corner from Seven Days version, but, you know, whatever. It can't be an exact copy, because this is a totally different game. And you, if you, if you, if you bleh, as you couldn't tell, I am referencing Seven Days a lot, so, um, so we, since we don't exactly, well, actually, no, we do have it. So the center tower, the center tower from Seven Days, um, did not have a door here, um, we actually had a, a large slit going from left to right, and the bottom floor was the armory. Uh, because essentially how zombies work in that game is for the most part, you can technically never stop them permanently. You have to kind of kill them or hope that they get bored and leave you alone. Since technically no block in the game is indestructible, they could eventually break through, hence why I had we had the, you, the armory back there. And if that front door ever broke in, well, they're going to be running straight at you, so you can just gun them down. Although, because of the game and how it works, and literally, I kid you not, you can have hordes and hordes of zombies, that tactic only worked probably 25% of the time, but, you know, what can you do? Um, so, the center tower in this game, because um, the, the center tower from Seven Days was armory down here, the upper floor was actually uh, the, I think it was... Food storage, medical storage, and the sleeping quarters uh, from the original. This version is mostly a refining station because the refineries are so big, they take up two floors. So apart from the little cargo storage there, two refineries, which extend to the upper floor here. A little bit more cargo, a couple of windows, which uh, I think there were actually more windows than this uh, in the Seven Days version. But like I said, it can't be an exact replica. The outer catwalk here, which is self-explanatory once again. Um, now even though these blocks here are way too tall to see over them. Take, Like I said, in seven days, one block high would be up to your navel, so you could still see over. So, you know, artistic license, because I can't exactly copy it block for block. But you get my point. Um, so closing that door, and up here, there was actually a ladder in the original version going up to the top here, but in this version, you can get to the very top of the tower here. Obviously, a little bit of a roof to shelter yourself. Not that it ever rains in this game. You know, it would be nice to actually have weather systems on planets in Engineers. But, you know, maybe I'm too used to weather in, in every other game. Even, like, one like this where it was, you know, Seven Days was all about survival. and had a, had a quite a complicated sort of, you know, self-preservation system. So you had to worry about, you know, disease, heat, cold... Food, hunger, breaking your legs, infections, you name it. It was it has a lot of in-depth stuff going on with it. But uh, um, but that is pretty much the base as a whole. Um, if you if I actually sort of fly and look at the top here, um, conveniently, each, um, each corner piece of the roof here is exactly the right size for two solar panels. So um, in this case, eight around the perimeter. And technically, it makes up ten because I have two more at the top here. And even though I've not tested these for potency... Because the sun is static, it never moves in, in my normal building world. Um, but yeah, I have the um, spotlights here just set to rotate very slowly. It's like perimeter lights, pretty much. And yes, if you couldn't tell, I had one of my uh, 
admittedly rather large vehicles from yonder, like I've, I've had this vehicle for ages. Um, it's even on the workshop, this thing, I believe. Um, and I actually tried to drive it inside the base. Um, shows you how big this thing is, because it got through the front door okay. Um, and it's a very tight squeeze, but even though it's just about thin, thin enough to get through this door, it's this door is actually too short. And it hits the top of the vehicle, hits it. But uh, um, but anyway, yes, that is pretty much this fort. I don't know what to call it. I will have to... Uh, I don't know, there'll be a name for it <laughs> in the title of the uh, the video, because I actually have no idea what to call this fort, but uh, but regardless, like I said, it, you know, <laughs> we don't have zombies in Space Engineers, although I did actually see a long time ago someone made, this is actually back when, um, you remember the Earth-like planet, um, back when that sort of first came out and it was a thing, there was like wild packs of wolves that would come to attack you? And um, someone made a mod that turned them into zombies. That was interesting, to say the least. Um, so, you know, we don't have zombies in this game. And uh, a fort like this, like I said, kind of meant for um, meant for the uh, hostile but habitable planets. Uh, although I have kind of realised, even though we have un underside turrets here, uh. that could shoot the perimeter wall, I'm pretty sure an entity probably... Could hide itself in the uh, in in between the metalwork here and actually not never really get shot. So slight slight fault uh, there on my behalf, I suppose. If that is true, I don't know actually how physically big the spiders are in, uh, from the alien planet. Because I've got to be honest, I usually have them turned off 99 percent of the time, and I don't remember how big they are. So it might be a problem. It might not. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say for this uh, crazy fort structure thing. Um, like I said, it will be on the workshop. I will at least try to get out there in a timely fashion. Um, so it'll be in the description if uh, that is up on the workshop at some point. Um, and uh, yeah, let me, know what you, let me know what you think of this random fortress down below in the comments. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Link to my Discord is also in the description as well. Uh, don't forget that. I'm just going to say Merry Christmas in advance. Uh, if you're watching this on Christmas Day, then Merry Christmas. If you're watching watching this video after the fact, wondering where my videos are, where they are at the moment, and why I stopped, I have stopped uploading. It's not permanent. I'm just having about about a week slash nine ish days off. I'll be back with in a timely fashion. At least uh, I'll be back before the end of the year. All right. We'll just leave it at that. So. That's about it. Um, I've already said all the other stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.